we're responsible for the structural integrity of whatever we're designing. Liberty Mutual helps me protect my office, my employee, and my family. Honestly, this is what I was made to do. This is my favorite thing. As people pick up their badges for the RIMS 2014 Annual Conference and Exhibition, attendance has reached new heights. More than 9,400 industry professionals from 67 different countries are here in Denver. I'm Monty Francis and you're watching RIMS TV sponsored by Liberty Mutual. Those in the risk and insurance industry are already making new connections here at the RIMS 2014 Annual Conference. Sunday began with a networking breakfast where attendees learned about the basics of building new connections and the importance of following up. And obviously this week there are four letters in the alphabet that are the most important letters for networking and that's R, I, M, S. So R stands for respect. When you meet other people, you have to be respectful. It's not just about giving them your elevator pitch and trying to shove a card in their hand or prejudging them based on their title. You have to respect them as a human if you want to build a relationship. The second letter is I, and that's for intensity. If you're going to go out and network and build these long-term relationships, you absolutely have to do it with intention, and you have to have intensity, and you have to be focused on what you're doing. The M stands for mega, and that basically is go big or go home. You've flown all the way to Denver, you've invested to stay here for a week. You might as well be fully engaged in the conference to get the most out of your networking. And the last one is S, and that's for sincerity. If you really care about other people and you want to build long-term mutually beneficial relationships and you're sincere about it, people are going to be drawn to you. Sunday afternoon, first-time attendees learned how to make the most of this year's conference at first-time attendee orientation. Newcomers learned how to maximize networking opportunities and how to connect with other RIMS 14 attendees on social media. Networking for sure. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to um, meeting people who are in charge of the industry today and have um, an impact in my future. I'm excited to um, do a lot of networking with different industry professionals um, and learn a lot. I don't know, I'm a student here, so I don't know exactly my career path, but the most important thing I can do is learn. And as newcomers learned about what RIMS has to offer, RIMS is looking to the future, examining ways to improve the experience for its members, not just at the annual conference, but all year round. One of the things that we're looking at is uh, what we're in the 2020 uh, vision of a, a task force. Uh, we just talked about that at our meeting, at the House of Delegates meeting, and we talked about some long-range plans of how the organization will have to be more nimble, more robust, and at the same time incorporate all the chapter information and the people that we have that are part of the organization. Uh, if we're not connected with the, with the folks who are out there, then we won't survive as an organization. So we need to see how we're going to do better for the 21st century. The selection of sessions is amazing. Uh, enterprise risk management uh, focus sessions, strategic risk management, as well as high-level insurance and financial risk management. So. One way RIMS is staying ahead of the curve is with hot topic sessions, which range from global warming to Colorado's recent legalization of marijuana. We are trying to prepare ourselves on what are our exposures, you know, what do we need to look for, how do we learn from the experiences of Colorado, how do we learn from the experiences of this particular hot topic session. I'm sure it's going to be full. Here's a look at some of the other hot topic sessions happening throughout the week. In 2011, RIMS created a political action committee called Risk PAC. Scott Clark is a past president of RIMS and chair of the Risk PAC trustees. He told us about some of the PAC's successes. We've gotten a lot of footing of actually meeting with members of Congress that probably would have been not as interested in meeting with us uh, or they would have sent their staffers out to meet with us. Being that we actually uh, now have a political action committee and those members of Congress know that we have money to put where our mouth is. That I think in many instances when we do show up uh, on the Hill or have events in Washington, D.C., they view us as a real partner. RIMS is holding its legislative summit in Washington, D.C. on June 9th and 10th. 
that event will be an opportunity for uh, RIMS members to actually come to Washington, D.C., spend a half a day actually learning about specific legislation that we believe are important to the risk management community, and then the next day actually go out into the Hill and meet with members of Congress. And we're going to meet with those members of Congress that are uh, on a state-by-state -state basis representing our membership but also those that we've identified as key members of the congressional community that we think have an opportunity to change and advocate bills on behalf of the risk management community, member, many of which uh, we have actually taken money from our members and through the political action committee made contributions to the re-election campaign. One of the people being recognized this year is a past president of RIMS. She's retired now, but this year she's being inducted into the Risk Management Hall of Fame. I had the great pleasure of talking to Lucille Lucky Gallagher about that honor. It is awesome. I mean, it is awesome. RIMS has been a very important of my life, part of my life. One of the really great things about RIMS is you make such great relationships and friendships in this, in this group. That's just the kind of group it is. And they last for years. I'm just very proud and I, I love RIMS. RIMS TV is sponsored by Liberty Mutual. Stop by booth 921. I'm Monty Francis for RIMS TV. We leave you now with some sights and sounds of Sunday's opening reception at the iconic Denver Art Museum. Sometimes it's better to have a mountain in your path. Roadblocks can be a benefit and hurdles can be a blessing. People who risk failure do amazing things. They get smarter, work harder, and achieve things that never seemed possible. Finding creative solutions that drive unexpected outcomes. They push against enormous obstacles, knowing that effort will make the end product even better. Where other risk managers see only a shipping route, we see a treasure map. Where they see a new highway, we see the gleaming city it will help to create. At STAR, we understand that when risk is managed, opportunity thrives. So we stand by our clients' sides as they sign contracts, build industries, and generally make the world go round. At STAR Companies, we are underwriting the future.